So... Who's the weakest right now? Chelsea. And is this all... a duchy? No. Okay. So these two are going to go to Corrid. Oops. County of Oops. Oops, 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 oops. There it is. And Tanu Ola. And then this is also going to be Kutlu. So Kutlu's quite in quite a good position because they've got a really nice centralized location up there. In fact, these could probably give, be given to Corrid as well. Or even Esmid. Well, we'll see who owns what duchies. Uh, you are all in... Yeah, Otukun's duchy. So, County of Kovsol. Of Skol. Edgin. Eastern Cyan. And Yenisei. How are the clans looking? So Kutlu and Korids are really quite strong. Kutlu in particular are getting big. So I think what I want to do is send you to go and improve relations with Kutlu. Just just to make sure they stay and remember who the boss is. We will need to give some land to Chelsea. I still need to give one more province away. I'd really like to give some Chelsea land away. Based. Go right down there. Well, I can definitely give you that. Ayakos. And suddenly, we look a hell of a lot more scary. <sighs> yeah, I know. I need to be careful about that. But that's Almaty, which is... That one. And Almaty, I know the name of... For some reason. Why do I know Almaty? I know it's supposed... was it a fairly famous place? I don't know. Regardless, trade post, upgrade, nothing. Temple, upgrade, nothing. Dunhuang, temple, upgrade. Yes, town. Do it. And then Almaty, we want to build a temple, which we are doing. And all of you lot just merge up. I might actually just grab all of my soldiers and try and... Form them into three proper armies. And here goes the defensive pact against me. We're going to have to station quite a few troops over here to deal with the tribes as they try to rise up. And you are actually a, a clan leader. Okay. Again, gave away one of my dodges. Thankfully, the time is a voice royalty. There needs to be some kind of exclude checkbox. That would be nice. Oh, now I'm fighting Yogra. Okay. I gain prestige, they lose prestige. Nothing else changes need to fight you.
Okay. We should probably go somewhere where there's a lot of supply. Twenty-one K over there. Let's select you. And all of you. We'll just go here. My neighbors are gonna be like, they're gathering again. A dear. I can't win. It just keeps going down. I'm <laughs> gonna immediately have a revolt. Oh, I feel sorry for them. But I don't really. Reclaim Nomadic County. Uh... For free spirited nomads living in the county, now when it's under our control, we're not let them be oppressed by the sedentary overlords. Oh! Then we'll pillage it, which was instant. Huh, okay. We can now create five kingdoms. Ambition, make a friend. Nah. Don't need new friends. I'm immortal! Friends only die. I've risen so fast to the top that other people regard me with envy. Jackson begged me to help him become as successful as me. It was almost disgusting how he admired my ambition and success. Ooh. Um, I'll teach you, but I'll charge you. <laughs> Self-help videos incoming. And we have sufficient money that I could build some more stuff. More hunting parties. How is technology doing? We could go up in town infrastructure. Which is a bunch of the economic buildings. No, the one I want actually is to get to level 4 trade practices so I can upgrade the uh, trade stuff quicker. Oh, and I can also get more Minters. That is going to be very strong. Because the Minters... Global trade route wealth per trade post plus 3. Global trade route income from trade post plus 0.5. Global trade value from trade posts plus 8. That's in every single trade post, of which I'm now going to own three. One, two. I don't actually own that one. I do own that one. Need to take this from Alunga. No, that's Almaty. I do have that one. Oh, I'm building it. Which is the one I don't have? Oh, I have that entire route. No, I don't. It's that one. Corsan. Yeah, Corsan. Corsan. And it would be this invasion I would have to do. That would be a ton of territory. That would also be an absolute ton. of feudal counties I need to deal with. So I need to make sure that all the tribes up here are demolished and then we can think about going after Corsan. Young from California is getting a bit of a stubborn streak. Uh, good for you. You can have a stubborn streak. My wife explains that she is captured by the grace and strength of the hunting birds and begs me for one. Beautiful falcon.
Alright, so I now have more than enough piety, so it really is just the moral authority. Which is infuriating, because it's just going down and down and down. I'm sure we're actually expanding in Italy. It's just everywhere else. This is why reforming later in the game is really difficult. You still don't have an heir. She's 55, divorce her. We're gonna lose the uh, crown at this rate. Though she's also freaking ancient. I wonder who the next in line for that is. Ormings. It's gonna go to the Ormings regardless. Why? No! The Van Gelderlands need to retain the throne. Maljin needs to marry somebody else. And there is nobody of rank that you can marry. Are there any geniuses? There aren't. Right, Maljin, what do you got at? You're not actually amazing at anything. We'll marry you to Bureg. Keep you on side. Defensive pact continues to grow, and here we go. I can now become a hero. Though my combat ability is not amazing. Because I'm drunk and fat. Can I try and get rid of those? We'll try. Perfect way to get injured. You're only a 23. Okay, these heroes are terrible fighters. They are awful! How the hell did you become heroes? Our table is already full, veteran. Are you saying you want to fight me for a spot? Yanni rises from his seat, idly cracking his knuckles and taking a step towards me. Yes! That is exactly what I'm saying. It is a good day for a duel, I chuckle, hefting my heavy mud blade in my hand. Enough talking! My opponent growls. Soon Yanni is facing... Lying face down in the mud, and I've seen to sever his hand from his body. I walk away victorious. You have proven yourself worthy of the Eagle Warriors. I admit defeat and hereby step back from the title you now acquire. Use it well. And like that, I am now a hero, and I get a nice little eagle. Marvellous. And that is... means I am now indomitable. While leading armies, I can no longer suffer lethal injuries from battles. So I can once again lead armies. I can choose an aspect. Enables right clicking your character portrait in order to choose one of the three military specializations. And then also the call to glory enables right clicking your own character portrait to temporarily unlock special battle tactics for your character to receive reinforcements from the warrior lodge as long as I am leading troops. Uh, I'm going to need to gain a bit more renown before I can do the warrior aspect, but I will absolutely be doing that. Random person's got random skills. So does Kaka, though rather better skills. Recently found myself becoming friendly with Yanni. Chuckles heartily, however, when I attempt to compliment the man on his fighting technique. My lord, we both know that I do not do very well the last time he sparred. Don't be so hard on yourself, good man. I did cut his hand off. <laughs> At least he seems to be taking it in good spirits. Alright, so we've got the hunting parties done. Now I really want the... Uh... Minter. To become properly minted. That's going to increase the amount of money I make by quite considerable amounts. And then, are there any other technologies I can do? No. That would allow me to get the Amp 7. 
That's going to be a lot of technology generated. So I think we're going to wait on the trade practices. In the meantime, we still can't get tolerance, not by quite a long way. And the other techs are really quite expensive. It's just a flesh wound. Get over it. Child lacks focus. Oh, right. Yeah, you're probably one of the billions of prisoners I have. Should probably do something about that. As she's growing older, I can see Mean Wolf could use some guidance. Nope. Ah, things are happening. Ransom, 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 ransom. Rebels. Blasted traitors. Up there. Okay. Um, that's fine. Because my armies have almost arrived. Your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm. Among others, is quite impressed Shaman Lucan of Utukan. I'm getting a lot of close friends. I, I guess I'm just a friendly kind of guy. Given that horde shattering upon the ruler's death is quite a big part of balancing nomads and immortal at all horse lord, I can't be killed in battle might turn out to be troublesome once you switch to another realm. Good! He can still be murdered, by the way. And more importantly, jeweled. Alright, so you, let's auto balance this. I'm going to put everything in the center because I think if you split it, it keeps those. And then I can see exactly how many horse archers I have versus everything else. The answer is quite a few. We'll be able to see exactly how well balanced we are, and then we can recruit appropriately. So we do need quite a few more horse archers, is my general takeaway from this. Uh, that is definitely doable. Horse archers are relatively cheap compared to the other soldier types. And we have plenty of spare manpower. And quite a lot of unused manpower too, which means we have capacity. Mike. Mike needs to learn to punch people more better. Can you still kill yourself when depressed? Probably. I don't know. I've never had an immortal character. This is the first time. Ah, from California. Is now of age. You need to find someone of appropriate rank. The Khan of Arabia. Ooh, hello. Let's marry into that. Why more horse archers? They're only usable in steppes and desert. Because most of this area is steppes and desert. And they're not only usable in those areas, they just completely destroy everything else in those areas. They still destroy... The freaking steward again! What is it with the stewards? Seriously. Uh, Eshink. That'll actually keep you happy too. Let's put you there. How did I get someone who is immortal? I completed the quest chain, which allows you to become immortal. Oh, I can PC that. Bye! Your mission has failed. Are we still pillaging? Mm, yes. Yes, we are. I don't want to spoil too much because it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> betrothal... no, this is not a betrothal I set up. And another uprising. Oh, 
Guess we'll turn around and go and beat them up. Weaponsmith was built in Mancia tribe. Um, that's unfortunate, but that's just another building that's going to get torn down. The tribes are slowly but surely being torn down. Oh, we built Minta. Which is great. Yep, that's definitely quite a big increase in the amount of money we're making. Let's upgrade it again then. Once we're at level 4, global trade route wealth for trade post plus 11, income from trade post plus 2, and trade value plus 29. This is really good. I wonder if um, Merchant Republics have a building chain like this in the Republic. Patrician headquarters. Oh, look at that. I won the, uh, the revolt. Kill surprise. I did say we'd have to put down quite a few revolts up there, but Kotan, I'll be coming for you next. Looks like sake. It's the same place! They literally just revolted. I mean, it was up there. No, it was here, wasn't it? I think this one, this one, and this one have now risen up. me out of this place is causing me terrific amounts of attrition. Inazuma loves playing physical games and is getting a good physique. Uh, cool. Ronnie is good. You want to marry the Queen of Novgorod to Jackson. Matrilineally. He is in no danger of taking the throne. So yes, I will accept that. As she's growing older, I can see Inazuma could use some guidance in my more experienced areas. Nope. Is that Stonewall Jackson? That is Stonewall Jackson, I think. Okay, so once again, we have now merged with the extra cavalry archers. This is a better balance. So what I want to do is split you once, split you twice, and you. So we're going to have four separate units at like full strength. And hopefully it's actually balanced you properly. No, of course not. Oops. Not even close. My lover Kalpa just broke up with me. Apparently she's confronted by my suspicious wife. Who? Oh well. Betroth can marry. Yes. I broke up with her ages ago. Okay, so. Threat is still pretty bad and actually I should have you doing statecraft to reduce that rather more quickly yeah these armies have actually been divided up really poorly like really poorly and Almaty has a temple which we can now give away to somebody else and then invest in Once I have money. Alright, you head back here. Gonna have to 
divide you up myself. It's gone for an hour, have reformed yet. Considering what my moral authority is like, no. And I honestly don't know much about what I'm going to be able to do about that. That's one of the reasons I'm trying to just get as consolidated up here because then we have like the bulwark of the Tengri faith. And after that, I honestly don't know. I mean, going off to Kotan will help because they're Buddhist. Yitis Bakupit is random person. Burn. Mean Wolf needs to marry. Uh, those are just clan leaders. Duke of Bataan. Sure. Right. That's not in my vote, so I can't do that vote. Alright. More places are being purged. You are not, and you should be. Neither are you. Oh, yes you are. And what was it I wanted to do? Temple. We were going to build a temple in Almaty. Oh no, the uh, Temple Town. Make sure you have enough money so that you can build yourself up. And the trade post is also done, so we're going to get the value going first of all. I'm completely out of manpower because of all the attrition I'm taking. Alright, next plan. I'm going to split this army. The way I'm going to do it, I can't just split all of one type, is by putting all of the horse archers in this army. Then I'm going to divide that in four, divide the center stack in four, then merge one center stack with one horse archer unit on each side. Okay, so you go there. It's your... Yeah, you're fine. Split, split, and split. Split, split, and split. Now that should be a better divide, so we can go... One stays there. One, two, three. One stays there. There we go. Swift Train is the new heir. Okay. They're not married. You're also in a host. Okay, so while you're doing your hunting and looting and raiding stuff, you're making A, loads of cash, and B, loads of prestige. So keep at it. Yeah, I control three of the moral authority sites already, though. So yes, there are two more I can capture, and I am slowly working my way towards that. But it's taking me a bit longer than I'd kind of anticipated, I'll be honest. Uh, buy you something nice. Merge. 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 So now the army balance should be really good. So the camels and the heavies are staying in the center. I realize there's going to be some discrepancies in how those are balanced. Quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. And the center is just the bigger unit. Fine. 